Hey, let's compare and contrast the ink from these three pens today. First, we have the Bic Crystal. And we also have a Uniball 207. And the Basic Prima. It's basically giving me nothing but trouble. These are all brand new. Now let's see what happens when we put them in a bath of a nail polish remover. Almost immediately, the ink from the Big Crystal and the Basic Premiere started running. And the Uniball 207 is actually holding up rather well because its ink is pigment-based as opposed to a dye-based, and it forms a bond with the paper. It is this added layer of security that can protect you from things like fraud, like with check washing. This is sped up 30 times the normal speed, so you are seeing one hour go by in two minutes. Now the Big Crystal box says that the ink is up to 35% smoother than the Big traditional ballpoint ink. And I'll tell you what I like about these. I found the Big Crystals to be very reliable. If I don't put the caps on them, they don't dry out. And I mean ever. Now these basic Prima, I found them in a drawer. I forgot where I got them from. But apparently I got them because maybe I thought I'd save a little bit of money. But some of them didn't work right out of the bag. These were actually horrible. And the box for the Uniball 207 says that it protects against water, fading, and fraud. And it also says it's the professional's choice. And that's why. Because you get archival pigment from a pen that's made in Japan for less than $1.50 each. You really should have a pack of these. And I did put an Amazon link in the video description. Now you see if I was a bad guy and that was a check. I could have just washed off some of the information and said, pay to the order of Sleazy McBaggerson, $80 million. 